Hi guys, how are you? It is Monday night. Say hello as you come in. Say hello, hello, hello. And let's see what we can do here. Hello guys, how are you? Hope you guys are doing well. <clears throat> hey Cindy, hey Sandra. Hey Janet. Hey Judy. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this without crying. I lost a dear friend this morning. Jackie, I guess most of you um, saw my post. So I'm going to try to do this live without crying all the way through it. Um, she was just a sweet friend and I'm going to miss her. So if you guys can say prayers for her family. She was only 56. She was my age. Um, you know, we became uh, friends through Facebook. She called me probably about a year, year and a half ago. And we talked almost every day and we talked for like an hour at a time and she was exactly my age and we just we just hit it off we talked about everything we talked about our family we talked about our dogs we talked about our business um and you know i only met her in person one time you know and that was at wreath pinkers live a couple of weeks ago so uh, love you jackie I hope you're doing okay. So, that's all I'm going to say. So, I'm going to try not to cry anymore. And I'm sorry. But, um, she's going to be missed. Um, she had a business, the crazy chicken lady. And she did, um, signs. And she used to always say she blamed me for it because <laughs> I got, I told her to do it. So, um, she's going to be missed. That's for sure. So, on another note, it's my birthday. <laughs> it wasn't a great one, but that's okay. Um, so, I'm going to try to do this. So, thanks, guys. Um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cry through all this, but it's been a little bit of a rough day. So, let's make a wreath. <laughs> and I'm going to try not to keep crying. So, I hope you guys had a good day. Um, I have my grandbabies over here today, so that kind of helped, um, helped me get my mind off of it. Um, off Jackie. It was just, you know, so sudden. And, you know, I don't know why the Lord decided to take her, but it was her time, so. Thanks, you guys. I, I, I didn't mean to come on here and, you know, I knew I was going to do this, but I'm really going to try not to. Just really pray for her family, um, because, I mean, she was fine. She was fine. And then all of a sudden, she wasn't, so. Yes, and I know she's in a better place, and I know, um, hey Janie, um, you know, I just really, I want you to pray for her family, because, like I said, she was 56, she was my age, um, and it was just such a shock, so, yes, Jackie, um, she passed away this morning, at 1.33 this morning. So, um, just really, you know, pray for her family, uh, her kids, her grandkids, so it's going to be, um, it's going to be a rough, rough time for them. So, I would really cover, covet your prayers for them and, um, ask that you really continue to pray for them. So, so anyway, um, hope you guys are all doing well. You got your cricket, yay! 
thank you for all the birthday wishes. It was just, like I said, just a little bit of a rough, uh, a rough day today. So, you know, you just don't expect it. Yeah, I mean, she was just one of those people. I mean, she, you know, messaged me one day, hey, can I call you? Can we talk? And I said, sure. And from then on, we, um, no, she didn't suffer, praise the Lord. Um, you know, we talked oh, gosh, almost every day for a long time. And, uh, you know, we just talked about everything. You know, so. So, yeah. So just pray for her family. Yeah, she was a sweet woman. And like I said, I, I uh, really met her in person for the first time at Wreath Makers Live. So, anyway. Um, I am making a... You guys are going to help me pick. So I have these um, snowman heads. And so I'm either going to make this one. Hey, CT. This one that lights up. Aren't they cute? Or this one. So you guys can help me decide which one. Um, and maybe we'll decide once I have the mesh on. So um, that's what we're going to do. But this one lights up little snowman. Um, I cut the ruffles. Can you see that guy? So that one lights up. I cut the ruffles 20 inches. Thank you, Kathy. This little guy with the little snowman hat. And thanks, Deb. And then this guy. So we'll do one of those. You guys can help me decide um, which one we want to do. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Amanda is um, a very good friend of Jackie's as well. Hey, Regina. Um, <laughs> Amanda and I spoke today. I hope you're doing okay, Amanda. Love you. Amanda's going to be trying to, um, if any of you ordered from Jackie, she's going to be trying to get that all that stuff together. No, uh... Not getting sick, just sad. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. I know, aren't they cute? Yeah, they're adorable. So we'll pick one. Hey, Johnny. There's another dear friend. Um, we were all pretty close to, to Jackie, so. She is going to be missed. Thanks, Joy. Hey, Regina. Thanks, Kathy. send you the church and the funeral home? Oh, to Amanda. Yeah, so. You like the one with the ear flaps? I know, isn't that cute? They are cute. Thanks, Bev. Yeah, it's just going to be a couple. Um, a friend of mine, Angie, um, her name was Jackie. She was the owner of the um, crazy chicken lady signs. She did the rails. Yes, ma'am, I sure do. Um, I sell them. In fact, um, in honor of my birthday today, I have a coupon code in my Etsy shop. And um, it's good for today and tomorrow for 15% off any wreath in my shop. The ruffles are um, 20 inches. So, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Let me, um, okay. Okay. All right. So, here's the code. Thanks, Sherry. So, any, um, any wreath in my shop, um, is going to be until tomorrow night. 15% off, so clear out my shop. I need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff I need to eat, get rid of so I can make more. So, hey Jerry. I know, isn't this pretty? Um, whoop, my phone's going crazy. Um, this is, what is it called? Snowball mesh or the snow mesh? Snowball mesh. So, 
Anyway. <laughs> hey, Connie, how are you? Hey, Gary, how's it going? Hey, T-Shell. Yeah, she was, she was very sweet. Very sweet. Like I said, we're going to miss her, so... You're going live? Yep. I will be there, Johnny. As soon as I get off of here, I'm coming on to you. So, like I said, me and Johnny and Amanda and Casey and... No, 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 no. It was Jackie. I know, right before Wreath Makers Live, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, she was fine when <laughs> we were at Wreath Makers Live, so... It was just a... Uh, a shock to everybody. I mean, I'm sure even more so to her family. So that's why I say, please keep her in your prayer, her family in your prayers, because they are in for some rough, rough days ahead. So, hey, Lori, how are you? So if you could please um, bless my page. Oh, you did? Yeah. Hey, Kathy. I know. We all had dinner together, right? We I posted that picture of all of us. Hey, Linda. Um, you know, we had a great time. And it's just, it's, you never know, you guys. You, um, you never know when your time's going to be. You just, you don't know. And you never know when the last time it is you're going to talk to someone that you love, so... Make sure, number one, that you're right with the Lord. And number two, that you tell everyone that you love them and, you know, don't hold grudges and, you know. Um, I don't, no, she did not, CT. No, she did not. She wasn't there. Um... No, she didn't go that night, so. So, yeah, so just really, like I said, please keep her family in your prayers. And, uh, I don't think so, Cindy. I mean, they say that, um, she just had an infection in her lungs that got real bad, so. Yep. So you never know. You just, I mean, like I said, she's 56. She's my age. Hey, Sue. Um, I mean, I, it's just, it's a shock to everyone. So thanks, Sue. So I did um, the 12 on the bottom. Now I'm doing the 6 on the top. Yep, that's true, Deb. He doesn't make mistakes. God does not make mistakes. We don't always understand his ways, but he doesn't make mistakes, so. Yep, I love that song. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. So, I mean, she has grandbabies. You know, she has two girls and a boy, and or a daughter, and uh, she has grandbabies. So, um, you know, it's gonna be tough. Hey, Nancy, how are you? So please, just uh, keep the family in your prayers. Thank you, Gary. So I'm doing the ruffle method. I'm doing the 12 on the bottom like I normally do, and then I'm doing 6 on the top. This is a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree, Eileen. So um, I use that. And then, oh, guys, so... I'm going to start going live on YouTube on Thursday nights. So I, you'll still get a mini chat. Um, so you'll have to come over there and watch me on Thursday nights live on YouTube. So um, starting this week, I'm going to do my live here every Monday. And then I'm going to, to do a live on... Um, I'm going to do a live on YouTube on Thursday nights. So Monday night you'll watch me here, and then Thursday nights you'll watch me live on Facebook. So I will um, send you guys out a mini chat, 
um, Jackie from Crazy Chicken Lady um, Reese. She was the one. She was 56 years old. She was just 56 in May. Um, so she was young. That's way too young. But hey, Mary Jo, I cut the mesh to 20 inches. And when you cut it 20 inches, you get 18 pieces, which is exactly what I need for my wreath. So, sight and sound was wonderful. Thank you. Um, it was really, really good. You went to see the show um, Jesus, and that was, it was excellent. Excellent. Okay, last one. Yeah, so spread the word. I'm going to go live on YouTube on Thursday nights. So make sure you guys come over there. And um, please, 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 because I've never done a live on YouTube. So come over there and support me. I'm going to be a little nervous because I've never done it before. But hey. You only live once, and you don't know how long that is, so. Hey, Debbie, how are you? All right, so, isn't that, I love how fluffy that snow mesh is. So that's with all those. Okay, what time? 7 o'clock, Peggy. All right, so, do you guys want to do this one? So you're going to vote. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so I'm either going to do this head, number one. So if you like number one, put the number one. This one that lights up. If I can get it in there. Number two. Or this one, number three. So let me know which one you guys want. Number one, number two, or number three. Number one. Everyone saying number one. Okay, so we will go with number one. All right. Number three. Number three. <laughs> number one. Okay. All right. So I don't think so, uh, Bev. I don't think there are, but I'm going to find out. Okay. So what I have here is, what do I do with it now? Okay. So I have 12 pieces of this one. 12 pieces of this one. Isn't this pretty? And then, which I have to make two more. I have my ribbon flowers. So we're going to see how this looks. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to do one and we'll see. So thank you, Deb. Thank you, Bev. I appreciate it. On which wire did you hook the mesh? So what I do is I put um, a pipe cleaner here, a pipe cleaner here, and then one in the middle. The ones that have two right here, uh, the, the outer one, I put a half pipe cleaner and I don't use, um, I don't use them to put ribbon in. I just use them for my mesh. Okay, so I'm going to put this like this together. I'm going to gather it and let's see how it looks. Oh, thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. What do you mean? What's the comment problem, Deb? I'm confused. Okay, so we're going to do that like that. And then going to, let me see, cut this a little bit off. I'm going to show you how to make the ribbon flowers. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. So we're going to see how we like it. Thanks, Carla. I'm just going to wrap 
Hey, mama. Wrap this around like so. I'm going to wrap it right around the wire. And then I'm going to wrap the wire around it too. Keep it so it doesn't come off. And then we'll see um, how we like it. Oh, that's a pain. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay. I don't know. Do I need more red? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if I need more red or not. Let me um, try something else, because I don't know if that silver is really sticking out enough. Um, that's just what I always do, um, Angie. I don't know. It's just kind of what I, how I've always done it. I'm going to cut these to 12 inches. I'm just going to try it. I wasn't sure if I'd need more red or not, so let's see. I think I might need some more red. All right. <coughs> so I cut these to 12 inches and I'm going to I'm going to go on YouTube on um, Thursday nights. So I'm going to be doing a live on here every Monday and then every um, every Thursday I'm going to be going live on YouTube. I'm trying to expand my audience a little bit, hopefully get some more sales, um, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think it definitely needs more red. That looks much better. Okay, so, put this through here. Get that in there. Oh, that is such a pain when Facebook makes changes like that and then you can't, you know, do what you normally did. All right, so let me just wrap that wire around to keep it in place. Okay. That's better. Okay. Yeah. I like that red on there. See how the red kind of makes it pop? Um, I think I think I'm going to add the red in. Yep, definitely. So let me cut some red. I think that red really kind of makes it uh, pop out. So I'm cutting them to 12 inches. just going to dovetail the ends and get that. Amanda! Hey girl! How are you? How are you my friend? Okay, all right, so, oops, so that's that. Yeah, so the red really kind of helps bring out the color because there's so much white um, so we definitely need the red. Hey Beverly, no worries. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hey Sharon, there's my sister Sharon. Okay, cut that one off. Alright, so. 
Get this going. Oh, hey, Liam! How are you, bud? That's better. That's better. All right, so I like that much better. You see how that red is really making it pop? So we need to add a red in there. Okay. So, let's get moving on here. Oh, sure. Um, what I do on my... Oof. Sorry, guys. What I do is I put a full pipe cleaner here. And... So I'll show you by section. All good. So I use a half pipe cleaner and two full pipe cleaners in each section. Okay, and what I do, and this is just what I do. You can do whatever you want to do. Thanks, Barbara. Hey, Angie. I put a full pipe cleaner right here at the crossbar. And then I take a half pipe cleaner and I put it on the third row here. Yes, it has been a rough day, Amanda. A very rough day. Yep. But the angels are rejoicing. So that's what I do in each section. I put a full one here, a half of one here, and a full one in between here. It's just what I do. Um, and for the half ones, I only put mesh in it. I don't put... Um, thanks, Barbara. I don't put ribbon in it. It's just kind of how I kind of started doing it and I just kind of stuck with it. So, all right, so let me take this one out because I want to put the red in there. Okay, so I'm going to add that red ribbon to it. Thank you, Bonnie. I appreciate it. Hey, Terry, how are you? So I want to add the red because I think it's too much white and it, um, it's just blending in too much. So the red will make it pop. <laughs> yes, it is, Amanda. So don't forget to use my coupon code for my Etsy shop since it's my birthday. 15% off any wreath in my shop. Thank you, Terry. Um, need to make room. It's storming really hard. Ugh. Yeah, no fun. All right. Yep, I actually have a couple more that I'm going to make, so I will show you how I make them. I think I have two I have to make. Thanks, Marlene. Thanks, Nicole. All right, so let's spread those out a little better. Okay. Isn't that pretty? It just really makes it pop. Yes, I sure did. Yep, it's their first, well, depending where they're going. <laughs> they're going to heaven then it's their first breath best breath in heaven all right so I'm going to take the white this is four inch and then this is one and a half inch and this is one and a half inch oh thanks Ginny and then I'm just going to gather it together and put it in the pipe cleaner thank you Melissa Appreciate that. Yep, I'm going to um, show you guys how I do this. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of my ribbon flowers. Yep, I will show you in just a second. All right. So, I'm going to take this, wrap it around here, and attach that. 
Oh, good. I love these ribbon flowers. I really do. I um, I use them a lot. And you don't want it tight. Hey, Annette, how are you? Because you don't want the ribbon flower to pull down into your wreath. So um, you just kind of want to do it loosely so it sits on top there. And then I kind of have the white with the snowflakes as a little sparkle. Okay. All right. How pretty that looks. I love the red. Hey, Jasmine, how are you? Against there. So pretty. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that. If you guys would bless my page, and if you don't like and follow me, please like and follow me. And go to my Etsy shop and buy a wreath. They're 15% off today for my birthday. Because I need to make some room. Thanks, Jasmine. All right, so, yeah, I really like that red against there. No, she had not, actually, no. I mean, she wasn't feeling good. She had, then she got pneumonia. Um, and then, hey, Jenny. Thank you, guys. And then she, um, you know, wasn't feeling good. Yes, she did. She made wonderful signs. That was her gift. She always used to <laughs> tell me it was my fault that she got into sign making because I she started she made one or something, and oh, awesome! Um, she told everyone it was my fault that I got I made her start making signs. So, and she was good at it. Thanks, Annette. Thanks, Jasmine. Okay. Now, if you, remember, you don't want to pull it tight because you don't want it to sink down into the wreath. So you just want it kind of loosely sitting in there so um, it's not pulled down into it. Thanks, Pat. I appreciate that. Thanks, Lillian. Yeah, it hasn't been the best birthday ever, but... That's okay. Thanks, Doris. All right, so a couple more down here, and then I'll show you guys. Did I turn that on? I did turn that on. Um, how to make those ribbon flowers. Thanks, Mary Ellen. So this, um, I can't remember where I got that. Now this, the four and a half inch, or the four inch is from um, Michael's, and then these two are from Costco the red and the silver. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please spread the love. Um, she lived in Louisiana. So, I wish I could get down there for the funeral, but I just can't. Yeah, I hear you. Thanks Kay, I appreciate it. Yep, and I thought, uh, you know, I was with the, today with my, um, thanks Helen, with my grandbabies, and I'm like, if I sit here and do nothing tonight, all I'm going to do is cry. So, I thought, I'm going to go live, and make something pretty, and remember my friend. Yes, yes it is, yes, please share and don't forget to share the link for my um, sale and if you don't follow my page please like and follow and thanks for being here you guys all right so one more down here and then I'll make one of the ribbon flowers because I think I have to make two 
I saved two so I could show you guys how I make them. I did the mesh at 20 inches and then I did the ribbon tails at 12 inches. Thanks Kimberly. That's right, I'm with my friends. You know, it does help. It helps to, you know, talk about her and, you know, be with other people that loved her and knew her and she was just a sweetheart. I am going to show you guys that because I have two more to make. I wanted to um, show you guys how I made them. Now these ribbon flowers you can use. I take them to craft shows just the flowers. Yep, that's right, Sue. So, um, I take these ribbon flowers and I put them on a package for your craft shows and um, I sell them as an alternative to um, like re just regular you know like a bow on your packages I know um, she was 56 Annette my friend Jackie who was the owner of the crazy chicken lady um, yeah she passed on my birthday so it hasn't been you know, a great day, but yeah, she's 56. She was just 56 in May, and I'm 56 today, so. But, like I said, I know she is rejoicing. So, that is it. I have six on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how, whoops, and this is a glitter fest here, show you how I make those other, those flappers. Oh, thank you. Yep, God doesn't make mistakes. And you know what? I thank God. You know, we've been talking on the phone for over a year. And um, we finally got to meet at Leaf Makers Live. So I am so glad that we both got to go. So, all right. Um, so what I do is I take pieces of wire or a pipe cleaner. I cut them about 14 inches or so. <clears throat> Thanks guys. And then what I do is I cut, in this case, the bigger you make your pieces, the bi bigger the ribbon flower will be. Um, I'm cutting mine six inches. If you want them bigger, you just go seven inches or eight inches. If you want them smaller, you just go, you know, five inches or four inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I used to do these just at, um, I used to do just five pieces, but I started doing um, six and I just, I like th that it makes it a lot fuller. I know this is Costco ribbon. I think I got this in 2017 this Costco ribbon I know right so you fold it in half now you want the point for your flowers so normally we cut from the fold out but because we want the point you're gonna cut from the outward edge to the folded okay and you want a nice point on that and then you take the other side and you do the same thing Okay, so you want a nice point. And I kind of always have to say that to myself because otherwise I forget the point and I cut it off. All right, so then we're going to, like this one didn't cut all the way, so we'll cut that one again. Oh, you are, awesome. Okay, so we have six pieces. Like I said, I used to do five but then um, I just like the fullness of the six pieces. So this is what we're gonna do. So what you do, let me um, pull this in for you. That's awesome, Tabitha. So what you do is you take your piece and you fold it in half with the pretty side together, okay? What do I do with those? Okay, so pretty side together, 
and then you fold this edge back. Oh, hey Lisa, it was great to meet you at Wreath Makers Live. That was awesome. So there's one, and we're going to do five more. Okay, yes, Lisa was at Wreath Makers Live. I got to meet her. What a blessing. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Your sister, Pip? Yeah. I just, it's just a shock. It really is. It's, I think it's, I can't even imagine what her family's going through because I, she, yeah. Just too young. Too, too young. So again, we're just folding it in half. Fold this edge back. And you want to get a nice crease. Flip it over and then fold it in again. So yeah, if you guys would please go to my shop, my Etsy shop. I have 15% off today and tomorrow. And um, I have my code down there. What I do, I think I price them three for $10 or $5 a piece. I have, Susan. Yeah, I, it's been a rough, you know, my, first my sister and now Jackie. It's It's been a little bit, a bit of a rough, rough go, but, you know. Yes, the ribbon is wired. Oh, thank you, Belinda. Well, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, look for me on YouTube this, um, I know, right, Lisa? She must have talked to everyone on the phone. She's so sweet. She was something else. All right, so. Then I take the wire. I place it at the halfway mark. And what I do is I kind of fold it in half so I know it, the halfway point. And then I twist the ribbon. Okay, and then you just want to open up. All right, Johnny, I'll be I'll be on your page in a little bit. Okay, so then you open them up like this. He was 42. Oh. Wow. Casey, hey girl. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Casey. All right. So then you just open up all those flowers. And then what I use is these are jar fillers. Um, some people call them. Thanks, Carl. Um, I use those. You can use anything. I just put a nice glob of glue right in the center there. That kind of helps your petals to stay open. And put that right there. Thanks, Dixie. Yeah, crazy chicken lady. So, there you go. And we will make one more, and then I have enough to go. Oh yeah, I love them. I love these ribbon flowers. Like I said, I what I do is I take them to my craft shows and I like attach them to the top of a box, like a, you know, a wrapped package. And I show them they can use that instead of a regular bow. Um, you're going to go share. Um, you know, I, I also show them like on a Christmas tree as just a decorative, you know, piece on your Christmas tree you can use them at. Hey, Tina, how are you? Oh, my. I probably take 40 or 50 wreaths. This, um, the wire was about 14 inches. Tina is from out in the country, blanks and more. Um, I have a bunch of her signs. I know I showed you guys a bunch when I got back from Wreath Makers Live. All right, so. So the ribbon I cut to six inches. Now, if you cut them longer, it'll make a bigger flower. If you cut them shorter, it'll make a smaller one. <laughs> I 
I sell them for, I think it was $5 a piece or three for $10 or three for 12, something like that. So, and you know, depending on the, the you know, I just made all kinds of these, the ribbon flowers. I made, oh, I have to show you. Um, can you guys see, I'll have to show you my wreath back here. I just made some on this one. Um, and turned out really cute. So, so please, if you do not like and follow my page, please do so. Like I said, I'm going to start going live on YouTube on Thursday night, so... Please come and support me there. I've never done that before, so that's something new for me. Um, and like I said, I have 15% off in my shop with the coupon code down there. We're staying tomorrow for my birthday, so I need to make some room. All right, so we have six pieces, and I just kind of put them together like this, kind of line them up. going to try to get them um, short. You can make them with um, anything, really. Yep, you can make them with all kinds of ribbon. I'll show you. I have some in the back that I just made. Um, oh, Jasmine, it just depends on your area. It really does. Alright, so then you open them up. I mean, you know, you want to have, when you go to craft shows, you want to have stuff at all different price points, um, you know, from like $35 to $40. Oh, thank you, Sue. No problem. So you want to, you know, kind of have stuff at all price points if you can. Because the more price points you have, the better off you're going to be. All right, so then... I just take and put a good glob of glue. Now I just use these foam balls. You can use buttons, you can use anything you want. This is just what I use. Like that. Okay, and then let me show you. Okay, so I made these the other night on a wreath. So this is just a black and white ribbon. See how pretty that is on the wreath like that? So I made that on that wreath. Oh guys, and don't forget about my wreath kit too. Hey Tammy, how are you? Um, you can make double ones. This is the same ribbon, I just made a double one. So I just layered one on top of the other, like that. See? So you can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so don't forget my wreath kit is on my website. This I made the other day. So we still have a couple of those left. All right, so let's get going here. Done with that, done with that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take this four inch ribbon Hey Peggy, one and a half inch, one and a half inch, gather it together. Thank you. I put the six on the bottom, so now we're going to do, whoops, this caught on my wire there. The six on the top. I know, I love those flowers. I really do. <laughs> yep, I use them a lot. I put them on my wreaths. I put them all over the place. Okay. Um, I usually do, you can use one and a half inch ribbon, but that makes really teeny tiny flowers. So, um, I like to use two and a half inch ribbon when I do the flowers. So then you just take them and feed them down 
Yep, they're all, I made all six inch flowers, yep. Now like I said, if you want bigger flowers, you just cut the ribbon um, bigger, if you want them bigger, or if you want smaller flowers, you just cut them smaller. You can make four inch, you know, just depends how big you want your flowers to be. So it's totally up to you. Yep, but I did them all the same size. Thanks, Norma. Appreciate it. Okay. Alright. So, just kind of want to get that spread out. So you can see it all. I, yeah, I learned, I forget... Honestly, it's been probably two years since I learned how to make them, and I forget who I learned it from. I apologize for that, because they were not my invention, but I love them. Oh, well, thank you, Mary Ellen. Yeah, they're easy to make, and, and they just make such a nice statement. They really are pretty, so... I should have cut this a little longer, but... Yeah, and like I said, you can use different things um, for the center if you want. I just like those little balls. It just makes them, you know, kind of stand out a little bit. Hey, Sharon, how are you? So please come out on Thursday night to my YouTube channel and support me because I, it'll be my first time I'm doing a live on YouTube, so I'm kind of nervous about that. Um, but I know if I have my friends there, I won't be nervous, so. So come help me out. So let's see here. Are those wreaths a little more expensive? The ones with the flowers on it? Yes, today's my birthday, Lisa. Yes, it is. <laughs> Jackie picked today to leave the world. Well, I don't know if she picked it, but God picked it for her, so. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Yeah, because I am a little nervous because I've never done... Um, Jackie lived in New um, Louisiana. So, thank you. Love these flowers. Okay. So we are getting there. Yeah, she lived in Opelousa, Louisiana. Wasn't far from New Orleans, but um, she lives in Opelousa. Thank you. No, she was not sick at Wreath Makers Live. That's the crazy part, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, like I said, I think it was just a shock to everyone. I'm sure her family even more so I mean she's my age she was just 56 in May and I turned 56 today so um, you know it's just it's a scary thing oh thank you Lisa thank you thank you thank you Sure, yep. I will show you. I do have a video on my page showing you exactly how I do my wreaths because I usually do the forms um, before I come on so I don't keep you guys on here long. So, um, thank you, Barbara. So, um, I don't usually do that on my live because I figured, you know, I'm going to keep you guys on here all night. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Yolanda. Well, I'm glad you're here. Just wrap that around the frame. Now, you can use wire or you can use um, 
pipe cleaners when you do the flowers. It really doesn't matter, whatever you want. Totally up to you. Oh, same age, yep. It's a good age to be, right? Okay. It's a good age to be. Oops, I think I need another red. I don't think I cut enough. Alright, so we're just going to gather it together. And pop it in here. Are you 30 minutes from Winston-Salem? Becky, did you ever go to um, Fancy Gap Pottery? My sister lives near there, and we went to Fancy Gap Pottery when I was just there in, uh, thank you, Yolanda, in July. July, yeah. And that's a cool place if you haven't checked that out. So, and don't forget, like I said, I'm having a sale in my Etsy shop today and tomorrow for my birthday. 15% off of any wreath in my shop. The code is um, right there. It's BDAY19 for my birthday. So, go grab yourself a wreath. I am in Pennsylvania, about an hour outside of Philadelphia. Hey Stephen, how are you? Thank you, Becky. Okay, one more, two more, two more. Now, I'm going to show you guys two. Oh, there's, there they are. Um, the reason I don't do the ribbon in the half pipe cleaners or while I do why I do the half pipe cleaners because it would really hey Brenda um, it would really kind of make everything too tight like it would just ribbon on top of ribbon on top of ribbon so that's why I don't put them here um, in the half pipe cleaners it's just a preference that I have. A lot of people, you know, don't do it this way, and that's fine. Oh, happy birthday, Kathy. Happy birthday. Oops. All right, so right here. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so I'll pull that one around. Get that shown down here. Thanks, Brenda. I love the white, the red against the white. I just love how that really helps it to stand out and just jump right off the wreath. Oh, thanks, Deb. Have a good day. I will. We're going to be on live tomorrow night in the group. So, thank you so much. Don't forget the group. We're doing um, ribbon picking tomorrow night again. No, I had all the grandbabies over here today, and then um, we just, you know, kind of hung in the house here. I really wasn't in the mood to go out too much today, so we just hung out. Alright, so last one here. Thanks, Kathy. Appreciate it. It does, doesn't it, Janet? Yeah. So don't forget, I'm going live on Thursdays on YouTube from now on. 
So um, every Monday I'll be here, and then every Thursday I'm going to go live on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to check it out. Come support me because I'm going to be a little nervous. I've never done a live on Face or on YouTube before. So. <gasps> Oh no, Stephen. Hey, Robin. My sister Robin. Okay, so last one here. Oh, congratulations, Kathy. A new baby. My sister's um, son and wife just had a new baby. I think uh, that was the one I made the wreath for. Thanks, Robin. Um, that was when I posted my sister Robin, who just said happy birthday. That's her um, son and daughter-in-law. Cutest tiny little baby. Yeah, these um, little ribbon flowers are just adorable. I love the ribbon flowers. And it's just something different on a wreath. Yes, please watch me on YouTube. All right, so. We have all of our flowers in. Kind of want to spread them out. Isn't that pretty? Oh, all right. So you guys chose this head. Let me take the price tag off. You know what? I should have left that on. All right. And this is just styrofoam. So we're going to stick the head right here in the middle. So what we're going to do. I know, isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. Five days old. Oh, congratulations. Babies are such a blessing. Ugh. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pipe cleaners. Okay. Um, I think my let's see let's see let's see oh here it is so this is my YouTube channel right here All right so we kind of want to go right in here with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hey Kathy, put the, fold that in half, and then I am going to get my little ice handy dandy ice pick here, and I'm going to kind of put a little hole right here, and then what I'm going to do is, oh good luck Janie, put a good bit of glue in there, then I'm going to take this pipe cleaner and I'm going to shove it down into there. Okay, so it's nice and glued in there. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Okay, so I really want to get a good amount of glue on there. Hold that pipe cleaner in half. And then shove that right in there. If you, there we go. Okay. And then you kind of want to make sure that uh, maybe one more. Mm, maybe two. I don't know. We'll see. Put one here. Oh, congratulations! All these grandsons. That's awesome. Three days old. Yay! All these babies. Okay, really get it in there good. And if it doesn't want to go in, you can take your ice pick and push it down in there. Hey, Jonathan. Okay. And I'm just putting four. You know what? It's better to have more than you need. Well, let's try this three and see. All right, so we want to make sure that's on there really well. Okay, 
Then we're going to take our wreath and we're going to put them right smack dab in the middle. So, kind of see where I want them. Okay. And hey, Teresa, and I'm going to wrap this actually through the mesh. Thanks, Karen. To kind of get that stabilized. So I'm putting it through the mesh so it sticks on there good. Okay. Take this one. Put this one through. And put this one through. Alright. So see how this looks. Get this one tied on. And sometimes it's a little tough getting it through there, but <laughs> all right, so. Oh, that's cute. Thanks, Jonathan. All right. Okay. All right. Kind of shake him. See, he's not going anywhere. He's on there good. And make sure it doesn't come off. Oh, thank you. Um, I actually got it at my wholesale place. I do have one more of these. And I have a couple of the other different kind. Um, I think what I might do too is put one around the top here in his hat. I'm just going to feed it right through the hat. And just tie that down a little bit so that doesn't flop around. So again, I'm just going to feed it right through the mesh so it doesn't flop. We don't want them floppy. Yeah, I do have one more of this snowman. I do have a couple of that other kind that I showed you guys. So, all right, I think that is it. And this guy will be in my Etsy shop. If not tonight, tomorrow. Okay. Okay, let's get these flowers right. And if you miss the flowers, you can catch it on the replay. All right, what do you think? Isn't he cute? So the reason I don't... Um, I do my pipe my uh, pipe cleaners the way he is. When you do the flowers, are the edges facing? The edges are facing down. So um, when you fold them, this is the bottom edges. They're down, and it's up. Oh, happy birthday, Patricia! That's awesome. Okay, oh, so, so this is, I put the half pipe cleaner there. So if you put a full pipe cleaner here and a full pipe cleaner there, you're going to have, um, like, another piece, you know, another set of ribbon and stuff right there. But I like to see some of the mesh, right, because, you know, that's part of the wreath. And I like to see it. So that's why I don't put stuff there. That's just my preference. Um, I put 12 flowers on. You just kind of, you know, have to go back and kind of fluff them out and get them all ready to go. Yes, I made the flowers. Yep, I did it. Um, I made a couple on here so you guys could see it. So you have to go back and watch the replay. All right, guys, there's my Santa. I love him, love him, love him. Isn't he cute? I think he turned out cute. So don't forget, this Thursday I'm going to be on YouTube Live, so please come out. Um, is the second? 
ribbon on the flower two and a half. There's only one, um, I only used one ribbon on that one, on this flower. This one I did, uh, this is a one and a half inch ribbon and this is a two and a half inch ribbon. The double, you know, the double flower. So please come out on Thursday to YouTube, my YouTube channel. Um, please go to my Etsy shop and grab yourself a wreath. They're 15% off through tomorrow night at midnight. And um, help me get some wreaths sold. All right. Thank you, guys. Aw. Well, you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And just please, Jackie, keep Jackie's family in your prayers. And um, come hang out with me on YouTube on Thursday night. Have a blessed night. And thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. God bless you. And I'll see you Thursday night on YouTube. Bye, guys.